Okay, you're live. I'm live. <laughs> All right, so you got a five-point harness here. We're only going to use four because it's a nice and smooth morning. Mm -hmm. You won't get any bumps. All right. One more here. Tighten this up. Not that you even need seat belts this morning. No. Nah, it's nice and smooth up there. Yeah, All right, good. so during the flight here, stick's gonna be moving around, uh, and the pedals are gonna be moving. Just uh, try not to. I'll let you fly along. Uh, you no. can actually fly. If you I like. don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I, I no. always give the option, um, <laughs> but uh, try not to restrict any of my movements here. Okay. Uh, some things you can control. You're gonna have an air vent right here, and another one here on the window. Uh, and then other than that. That when that goes forward, you got a little pin that comes out here, goes right into the that, um, the hole. That that's how it stays locked. So make sure that's forward at all times. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me. Um, it's gonna be nice and quiet the whole flight. So and I'm uh, hopefully be able to answer any questions you do have. Okay. I'll see you later. Have fun. Bye. Enjoy. <laughs> Does that thing capture sound and everything? I don't think so. I think it's just video. I'm hoping it's just video. <laughs> <laughs> when I did the skydiving, they had somebody flying down beside me and it got everything. Sound and, oh, and wow, motion. Oh wow, that's not good. No, it was, <laughs> it was terrible. They're, they're mean. They were very mean. Um, so have you ever been in a small aircraft or glider before? Not in a glider. My brother had a small aircraft. Nice. And then, of course, when we did the skydive. I, I don't think I'd go skydiving. No? No. It was, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, have you want to close your canopy? At right, close and latch it, you're going to have to go the other side. Oh, uh, you want to push that other white one forward? Forward. forward. Yep. There you go. Uh, close your window, slide it forward. Yep, and then, oh, uh, yeah, perfect. Uh, out on the wings, if you look now, are our spoilers. Okay. Uh, they spoil the lift. It, um, they basically just create drag and control a descent, and uh, they, at the end of um, them, are the brake. So that's how, that's why they're out at the moment. So we, because, um, uh, the tow plane is going to pull the rope out until it's uh, taut, and uh, if the brake wasn't on, it would cause a little tug and we'd move forward. Okay. See the little move forward right there? All right. That's just spoilers clothing. Uh, we are ready to go. Oh, uh, I think we're gonna go 2,500 this morning because uh, it is so smooth. Yeah. We don't have any lift yet, so uh, that way your your ride's a couple minutes longer. Unless there is lift by that red glider that looks like he's turning. Yeah. Up and left is where he is. Way up there, yeah. Off our nose now. And up. Oh, gotcha. We'll probably be busy today. It's the first day without rain. Oh uh, yeah, yesterday was really busy too. Was it? We uh, we I we flew like 15 rides. Nice. That's a pretty good day. It's 
today we, we expect to be really busy. Yeah, I used to live down in Hammondsport on top of one of the hills. Oh, nice. So we used to see you guys launching all the time. Two flights yesterday. Wow. That's right, he needs the hours before. Because when you start out as a pilot, you need hours before you're allowed to go to an airliner. Yeah. So he doesn't have them yet, so this is a good way for him to get a lot of hours. Well, because I know when my both my brothers got their licenses, they had to do a certain number of touch and goes and all this other stuff before they could get Yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah. about right here but since it is so smooth we'll, we'll take you up another 500 feet. Gotcha. Uh, if you look right off our nose you can see Cuca Lake now. Oh nice. Sonica would be that valley over there or Cayuga. No I mean Seneca Lake I'm sorry not it's, Seneca. It's Cuca's Seneca. to the left. Okay. I'm getting all messed up. <laughs> I know, I have to get my bearings here. Yeah, Cuca is over here to the left. That's Seneca right there. Gotcha. So what you can see in the valley over there is probably Cayuga. Probably, yeah. Yeah. All right, 50 feet. You ready? Yeah. There's gonna be a little noise. Three, two, one. And no noise. Well, a little noise in the release of the. Yeah. Uh, I, when I was flying, I flew my uh, one of my good friends, and uh, I forgot to tell him about the little release noise to scare the crap out of him. <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm always sure to freak that when I'm flying rides. <laughs> Give him a little countdown. Yeah. Somebody's landing down there. Nope. Yep. Do you see the the south the runway? And if you just keep looking south. You see that hill, or the, the house in the, nope, it's right next to the room. You see the house in the woods? Yeah. And the, like it's a little round house in the woods. That's my grandfather's house. Oh, nice. Yeah, you know, oh, he, he's here today. Uh, he was flying, he was in one of the tow planes. Well, that was probably pretty awesome growing up around that. Yeah, we have been, I mean, I've been learning to fly since I was 13. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I was actually born at a glider contest, <laughs> so been around it literally since birth. Yeah, on the camera here. <laughs> yep. Have you heard of a GoPro? 
Yeah, my oldest brother's got them on his quadcopters and his uh, remote control planes. Oh, okay. So he's been doing uh, filming for a real estate agent. Yeah. You know, for uh, properties that they have for sale. And then he's got a harness that he can wear, a GoPro inside to do the inside shots. Uh-huh. Yeah, um... One of the other, we uh, a couple summers ago, we made an awesome video with our GoPros. Uh, we we got one that goes up, it's like a head mount thing. Uh huh. Uh, for, we have one like that. Then we mount them on the wings sometimes, okay. looking in and yeah, that selfie cool. sticks. We stick them out the window. When I did the skydiving, the guy jumped. Well, he was hanging off the side of the plane when I jumped, and he had a GoPro on his helmet. Oh yeah. So he's talking to me the whole time, you know, and I'm just freaking out. Scared. <laughs> and, he's, and then, little did you know, he got everything. He did get everything, yes. Yeah. There was so much up here. Like what do you mean, like the the go kart thing and the pool? Oh and all yeah. That stuff? Oh, here we go. There's some lift. Ah, uh, and it's gone. Yeah, there's <laughs> a there's a little. It's it's not like um really big. The only thing I really do that anymore is the putt putt. Uh huh. Because there's really no putt putt around. You have to go to Corning for the nearest yeah mini golf. Besides that, so. Well, even when I used to live in Hammondsport, our not mall was so tiny. There was, oh, yeah. You know, there was a movie theater and a couple stores, like pennies and. Yep, I know. Miles. I live literally two two and a half minutes from the mall. <laughs> You can feel it against your seat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, today's going to be a good day. <laughs> uh, later in the day here, there's going to be some nice clouds and a lot of lift. So Just somewhere... It's like the heating of the day to yep, get some air exactly. moving. Exactly. So, you know, 10, 10, 30, even 11, I mean, it's a little early in the day. Yeah. 11, 30 to 12 is when the day really starts. Uh, popping and it really starts to be lit. And it goes through strong until about 3.34 mm -hmm. on a normal day, then it starts to die. Yeah. Uh, last Wednesday, not this one that just happened, but the one before that, it was good for like seven hours. <laughs> it was amazing. I flew for six hours without coming down. And then I flew all the way, I flew to Mansfield, then I flew up to Middlesex. Uh huh. And then all the way back here was like 160 miles. It was an awesome flight. Well, like in the middle of next week, it's supposed to be in the high 80s. Do you, mm. Does that give you like more lift when it's really cold? Um, like it's that? not. It's not absolute temperature. Mm -hmm. It's um, a difference in temperature. Temperature differential. Okay. That that creates lift. So there's going to be lift in the winter as well. Okay. Um, 
But I mean, it's certainly nicer on those days. It's still yeah. 80 degrees. Like, I'll, I'll take high 80s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Did you see the tail plate? Yep. They're the only other people up at the moment because uh, there's no lift, like I said, so no one's able to stay up yet. Yeah. You can see if you look just on the horizon, mm -hmm. you see little lines, la little left here. Um, it, about straight off your nose, you see little lines sticking up off the horizon. Left. No. Uh, it takes. It's hard to see. You have to know it's there. Yeah. There's a windmill farm or whatever way down there. Oh, I see it now. Yep. Yep. You can see, and you can see the windmills. You can actually see those from the ground, especially at night when they get the little beacons. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm originally from out towards Morrisville Way. Okay. Where it's a little hillier. So there's quite a few windmill farms out that way now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's windmills over there. There's there's some towards Danceville. I know there's a single windmill up on uh, this guy's property over here on Harrisell. His name is Gary Howard. He's a doctor. Uh-huh. He's got a windmill. Is he powering with it? Uh, yeah. He yeah. probably doesn't pay for electricity. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, another glider going up. There's two tow planes going right now. Well, it looked like they were getting the other one ready. Yeah, because it's so busy. Um, yeah, that's my grandpa in that one right there. Uh, but it's so busy. It's going to be so busy because we've already sold so many rides. Yeah. There's the drive-in. Not a lot of those still... Uh, in operation, I guess. What's that? Drive-ins. Oh, I know. You know when you go, you go in your car and you watch a movie? Yeah. They don't do those a lot anymore. There's one up near Auburn still. And then I think there's one up by Seabreeze someplace. Okay. Yeah, that's... But that's it. I mean, I was talking to this guy yesterday. He said he used to have a bunch of them up by him, but they, they closed them all down. Well, what my uh, daughter's boyfriend does, he has a big inflatable screen. Oh, cool. And he's got all of the, you know, projectors, and he also got some kind of equipment that he can send the sound over FM radio. Oh, awesome. So, so he portable drive-in. Yeah, so he does a portable drive-in, and he, he got hooked up with the food truck series in Syracuse. Oh, awesome. So the, the food trucks, like five or six food trucks come, and uh, they call it Food Truck Rodeo. And then they always have some local artists come and sing, and then they do that until it's dark enough to do the movie, and then he projects the movie. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. All right, there's going to be a slight noise here. It's just the spoilers coming out of the wings. Okay. It's about time to go in here and land. <laughs> we're gonna do one more circle to the left, then we're gonna go in. Uh, wait for that tow plane to land. Well, that would be cool if we stay up here for hours at a time. Oh yeah, it's it's awesome. I've got my my longest flight is six hours. Yeah. Then uh, four and a half, and then like three. Yeah. It's hard because it that, sometimes the day cycles. So there's gonna be there's gonna be a time in the day where it's really good, yeah. and then there's gonna be a time in the day where it just dies and there's nothing. Yeah. So the trick is getting up high enough where you can outlast the, oh, the phase okay. of it not working anymore. Yeah. Because once you outlast that, then you just you just You're climb done. back up. <laughs> so the trick is to once you get high, you stay high. Yeah. Stay in five base.
Has that interfered with you now that the airport is going stronger? No, um, we, we, I mean, we just tell them that we give them a call in the morning, say we're in operation, yeah. and they say okay, and then uh, they they vector all their air traffic around us. Okay. So we, as long as we stay over the hill, we're fine. Uh, if we go out into the valley there, we have to give them a little call, say hey, we're we're at the north end of the runway. Okay. And uh, we, we work together. They're they're really nice down there. Thank yeah. goodness. Uh, I go to college in Florida to be a pilot. Yeah. And they are not so nice. Yeah. It's a pain. A lot of people that I know flying out of Elmira now. Yeah, um, my dad flew out of there for 15 years. Did he? He just got a job at UPS, so he flies out of Louisville now. I think I can, I think I can. Get there. <laughs> Get there. Get there. Oh, just not, not quite on the runway. Not quite. <laughs> which means I'm going to have to pull it up onto the runway, which is hard. All right, uh, if you, you just twist your belt there, and I'll, I'll get up here, and I'll get your canopy open for you. You want to pull back? Yeah, pull back on that. Do a 90 degree. Some bumps, nothing uh, good. All right, so you can go to the left because our right wing's down, so it'll be easier for you to do. I got your ticket. Uh, just step right on the seat if it makes it easier, or you got this. Or this. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for flying with well, us today. Well, thank you. That was fun. I got to sign your ticket here, and then... All uh, right. Uh, that gets you into the museum over there for free, by the oh, way. Oh, okay. So... How did you spell your name? J-A-N-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. All right. You can kind of see it there. <laughs> it's okay. I got to go do that back. All right. All right. Uh, you can walk you. straight over to the golf cart, or you can go straight to the golf cart and then over. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna turn you off here. <laughs> Good. There. 